say the people make the place, so I wanted to choose a place with good people. And it seemed like the faculty are really earnest at trying to make me the best resident that I can be, help me succeed wherever possible, and be open to ideas and you know my creativity for how I want to pursue the, my residency. I was really fortunate and lucky that when I called and I spoke to Peggy, uh, she just welcomed me with open arms and I felt right at home right away. I chose UT Health because this is one of the finest institutions to get a great education. The faculty here are phenomenal and I couldn't ask for a better training site. The interview process was very simple. We had two interviews with Dr. Delcos and Dr. Perkinson asking me about my interest in occupational medicine. It was very laid back. It was very conversational. The resident wellness is really highly emphasized. You know, this is a occupational environmental medicine program. It's a branch of preventive medicine. So ideally, preventive medicine means you prevent illnesses, prevent burnout and for residents, because you know residents are doctors and doctors are also patients too. So we can have things going on with us. So it really does uh, feel like a family atmosphere here. I really can say with 100% genuine feeling that the people in our program, our faculty, our staff, and everyone ancillary really does care. And it shows. The other thing is our faculty are well established in their fields. They have experience, not only extensive experience in research and academia, but they also have a lot of experience in the private sector and the corporate world. I think other residencies should interview this program and figure out why it's so good for residents and maybe apply the, the traits that they, seem, they deem beneficial to their own program. They took care of me here and made sure that I was successful. They made sure that I thrived. So I, I have an emphasis on lifestyle medicine that I like. Um, that's my passion. And they really try to promote me pursuing that. We're actually embedded within the Southwest Center for Occupational and Environmental Health which means that we have really great connections and collaborations with a lot of the other programs that are also housed within the Southwest Center. This place is huge and it has so many different hospitals, so many opportunities for you know, where I want to do rotations, collaborations, if I want to do research, the opportunities are all here. Our program is actually situated in the Texas Medical Center, which many of you know is actually the largest medical center in the entire world. And the opportunities here are endless. We have Chevron, Shell, Dow Chemical right next doors. So of course, that's going to attract a, a ton of experiences for us as residents, a lot of opportunities to network with high caliber experts in the field from all over the world. It's going to attract funding. It's going to attract amazing rotations that we can partake in. We have access to all top-notch resources. We have the Texas Medical Center Innovation Lab just down the street and we as residents can always go there and collaborate and maybe find some really cool opportunities in the innovation space. Being right here at the Texas Medical Center, we get to see all different type of patients. Patients have come from across the entire world trying to get healthcare. Our program director, Dr. Perkinson, is constantly on the hunt for new connections and constantly forming new rotations with partners in the community. So I've been able to do a rotation related to lifestyle medicine, for example. I was able to do rotation with a high ranking administrator at one of our local hospitals in the medical center. But outside of that, we have a lot of um, variety in terms of the elective rotations that we can also choose to round out our experience with outside organizations like Concentra, so we can also get that really great outpatient experience. My favorite time is having Friday didactics. Every morning we log in onto WebEx and get to see all the friendly faces and talk about very, very interesting topics in occupational medicine and we all take turns giving lectures as well. That's also a time, a great time for us to do our board prep where we go through question and answers and we have the privilege of having our, our great faculty members there that 
guide us through the responses. In terms of health hazards and occupational medicine, uh, we were able to go to oil refineries. Uh, the PG by 2 curriculum, you're mainly taking classes here at the School of Public Health. Working with Shell is going to be an amazing opportunity. Getting to know that corporate structure is going to be really, really, really fun. Another really exciting aspect about training here at UT Health's uh, residency program is this Total Worker Health PhD tract, which is actually the first ever in the nation. And one of the amazing things I got to do was do a combined residency and doctoral or PhD training track while I was here. Essentially, the Total Worker Health PhD is fully funded by a grant from the CDC, National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health. And so my PhD training was fully covered by this prestigious grant. In addition, I was able to work with our amazing and wonderful faculty and staff to be able to marry the two once I also got accepted to the residency program. It's been a real honor. This is a really innovative opportunity and I'm glad to be the first student to partake in it.